might be filled with all the fullness of God. Oh my goodness. I, 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 you know, I pulled my hair, I ran, I screamed many years ago as a teenager. I got to know this. When I read this in my room, I screamed, I danced, I went on the floor, I, I did everything. I was spinning around. I, I couldn't contain myself, my joy. I said, to be filled with all the fullness of God? Somebody can be filled with all the fullness of God? Well, that's what Jesus was. That he might be filled with all the fullness of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lebra kosatila makaya. Dengle diglo braga sonta kara dios. Oh, 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 thank you, Lord Jesus. To know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that he might be filled with all the fullness of God. <laughs> that he might be filled. You see, this was, this was Paul's experience. He's praying this prayer for the church of Ephesus. He's not saying that we might be, uh -uh, that he might be. Because he was already in that, level of knowledge and understanding that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God because this is God's plan. Filled with the fullness of God. That's God's plan for your life. Filled with the fullness of God. I love it. Play of words here, Peru, Peroma. You see, he's talking about everything that God is with the exception of nothing. You see, and, and you come into that oneness with him. You become his dwelling place. Now he lives in you. What does God want? He wants you to come to the consciousness of this reality. That's why John says as he is. 